Okay, today we're going to look at the, the Aurora Optima Kaleidoscopio Luce Verde Fountain Pen. Um, it comes in the Kaleidoscopio box with the reference to the kaleidoscope. And it's a sleeve, and it's black with the Aurora logo and the name of the collection. And you've got, since 1919, Italian fashion sign of distinction on the side, both sides. And then on the bottom you have more information about the inspiration behind this pin. As a child, I was enchanted to watch the colors moving in a kaleidoscope. And these pins are made in Italy, as is noted here. Okay, and you just slide off that sleeve. And inside you have a nice and solid black cardboard box with the Aurora logo and a, nib, a graphic of a nib here. And then the um, tagline here again, Italian passion sign distinction got more uh, logo information. Pin information is on the side. <clears throat> and it does note here that you're gonna have an 18 karat gold nib and that the cap and barrel are in a green and light blue marbled oroloid. And so this, the Luce Verde is, uh, I think this is the fourth in the Kaleidoscopio series to verify that. They have a blue, a pink, and a yellow, yes, this should be the fourth, unless I'm forgetting one. It does come with um, a rhodium treated 18 karat solid gold nib and uh, the trims are in chrome. And it is also a limited numbered edition. So you just lift off the top and right away you'll see the very clean and straightforward edition that they include about the um, company. And then their box does have this fold down edge, which is nice. Makes it much simpler to get the box out of the cardboard exterior box. And then this, so you have the sleeve in the cardboard box and this is um, plastic gift box. It's hinged, it's really nicely made. Um, just give you a good look at these hinges because this is one of the nicer um, gift boxes out there. It does have the Aurora name and tagline information made in Italy since 1919 up in the lid area. And then you also have the designation here of the 18 karat solid gold nib. Your pin is really securely. Um, I find that some of these uh, straps that hold the pin down aren't very secure really. This one's really secure which I appreciate. Um, and it's also in a plastic sleeve. You have a little Aurora tag here and they um, have it attached to the pin sleeve, to the pin strap here. And I think that's an excellent idea because I have had, I've never seen the pins damaged by these, but I've had some people worry that it might damage the pins when it's hooked to the clip inside of the plastic sleeve um, by other, um, I've never seen an Aurora done that way, but other manufacturers. You lift up that false bottom using the tabs and underneath you'll see your pin comes with a full bottle of ink Aurora ink and then you have your full brochure of information about the company and the pin and your warranty information and everything you might need to know is right here. Okay and we'll set the box aside and take a look, better look at this pin. It just easily slides out of that plastic sleeve and you'll have to forgive my inky fingers I made a mess earlier. This is your Luce Verde Aurora Optima Kaleidoscopio fountain pen. And I do really like the green-blue combination here. It's interesting because each time they come out with a new Kaleidoscopio, I think, oh my word, that is the color. But apparently, I just like all the colors that they come up with. Okay, so you'll notice here on this, um, <clears throat> I already mentioned that this is the light blue and green marbled oroloid on both the cap and the barrel. And then you have the crown of the cap in, in solid black and the back end of the barrel in solid black. You've got your chrome trims showing up here in the pin clip in the medium sized, kind of a thick actually, center ring here at the bottom of the cap. And then a small ring right above that black solid piece at the back end of the barrel. It is a threaded um, cap. Okay, if you get a good look, it does go ahead and designate Aurora. 
and on the back side, Italy. And you'll note when you look closely that there are two, um, there's a, a thin ring at the top and bottom of this thick ring that's a little, a thin black ring. Okay, another interesting aspect of this pin, we just noted that the cap is threaded, but when you remove the cap, you can see the ink window. And the ink window is bordered by thin rings of the chrome trim, and it gives you the opportunity to see the piston filler in action. So the piston knob is back here, and you can see it moving if you, let's get you up close actually. So I'm gonna be twisting the piston knob here, and you can see through the ink window what's going on in the pin. It's very interesting. I do love I do love that the ink windows kind of dual purpose. It gives you that peek inside the pin and it lets you see how much ink you have left and it also just it looks very cool. It looks very nice. Okay, so this is the rhodium treated 18 karat gold nib. I'll give it a spin so you can get a glance at the feed. And it does, it is branded, it does have the Aurora name right there on it. And you'll notice that the section does match the cap in the barrel with that same um, light blue and green marbled Oroloid. Okay, one thing that, uh, a couple things I missed that I needed to say, um, the cap does have that spring metal clip. We glanced at it, but that is a spring metal clip. And then you also, um, in case you like to post your pen, it's a friction post and uh, it's pretty solid and it is postable. Okay, and that's a basic look at the Aurora Optima Kaleidoscopio Luce Verde Fountain Pen, and they are um, numbered and limited to only 860 pieces. So if you're interested, um, go ahead and jump online. You can find it at penchalet.com.